How about their energy, their resources, and their knowledge base? You're studying, you're learning, you're taking time out of your day today to learn. Make sure you put a value on everything. Never go to a, pro this is a good one. Never go to a property or a meeting unless your intent is to pick up a check or a contract. Why? Working smarter, you're working smarter. Yeah, what's the, po what's the point if we don't make money? Before we had COVID, I gotta tell you, you're getting in your car, you're sitting in traffic, you're driving, you're buying lattes and things for people. My intent, why are we doing all that? Once again, to make money. So make sure you qualify people up front before you do a meeting. What does that sound like? Okay, Mr. and Mrs. Prospect, I'm gonna, I'm gonna drive my car. It's a long drive and everything. If I like you and you like me and we can agree on the numbers we've just discussed. Can we do an, can we make a commitment today? Can we do a contract today? And then you listen. And you listen intently for, you listen for the maybe, probably, should have, could have, I'm not sure yet, where, you know. If you hear words like that, should you get in your car and go to that meeting? No. Make sure when you go to a meeting before you drive your car or anything, or you expend resources and everything, make sure you're getting some kind of tentative commitment, a partial commitment, something. Okay, because if you just run to every prospect for every meeting, it's, it, 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 you're wasting your time. You gotta work a lot smarter than that. No more, uh, you gotta become the doctor of real estate. We've talked a lot about that. Why, what does a doctor sound like when the patient comes in? You've heard me say this a million times. Does the doctor go into a presentation and start selling and talking about uh, the coupon they have in the paper for back surgery, but the price goes up on Friday? What does the good doctor or lawyer or other professional do up front? Do a, di do a diagnosis. Yes. What's a diagnosis mean? What does that sound like? Asking the right questions right up, right up the front. See if they're well, open, that you can ask some questions. You, they can ask some questions. Hey, Tom, I, you, you still don't own that property over there on 123 Main Street, do you? Yeah. Oh, would you like an offer today on your property? Boom. And then go into whatever they're at and just listen yeah. to them. You go in there. Horace, why are we talking today? Horace, why am I calling you? Horace, what do you need for me to do business today, young man? Horace, what would you like to see happen today? Whether, you're, whether they're a buyer, a seller, or whatever, you've got to ask those questions up front to get information, to get commitment, or to find out if you're just the free consulting all day long. You want to respond, Horace, to any of those, by the way? <laughs> Good. I'm to see if we can get an agreement today. Okay. And, what, and what do you need for an agreement? Price or terms? What would you like to see happen today on this phone call? I want to get, a, get my price. You're, okay. Boom. Now we have a starting point, at least. You know where to start. But if we're just blindly giving presentation, oh, let me tell you everything I know about lease purchasing, a wholesale real estate, uh, this and that. Do you Have you really lasered in on to what his needs are or if he even really wants to do a deal? Maybe he doesn't even have the money or the authority. Maybe it's a wrong time to do the deal. He wants to do it in 2024. Do we have rights in the sales process? Real important question. You, you got to believe that. We do, of course. Okay, never, never ask. So no more presentation, no more premature presentations up front. Make sure you're asking questions that can make them emotional. And then that leads to the presentation because then you know how to sell them, what parts of your presentation apply to their emotional needs. Never ask for the order, why? That goes against every guru and every training seminar I've ever been to. Never ask for the order. Why, why would I put something crazy like that there? Because that's what everybody else is doing, and we're we're trying to go against that, and you know, and uh, take them in, in a different direction than what, what they're used to. Right. Well, Jason, what happens when we meet a, a salesperson? We're just interested. We're just looking, and they keep trying to pressure us, or they keep asking for the order. Well, you know, the price uh, might go up next week. I've heard some rumors from the boss, and this and that. What happens when you talk like that to an intelligent prospect? He just it turns you off. You just want to walk away. Yeah. You've heard it so many times. It's you know you don't you don't even want to hang around it to to listen to any more of it usually. So never ask for the order. Finish the sentence. Make the prospect give you the order. Yeah, thank you. 
Make them give it to you. What's the difference psychologically when someone makes a decision to sign the contract, to give you money, to do the deal? What's the difference whether you bug